Hi guys, in today's video I'm sharing my top tips as to how you can score super highly in your GCSE and IGCSE biology exams. So when it comes to your first approach, clearly you need to go through the material. I have my all-in-one videos, which that's my cat sneezing. And I have my all-in-one videos, which are chock-a-block full of information relating to every single specification point. However, you may feel that you need to go through each topic in greater detail and that's what you can find on my channel. As well as the all-in-one videos, you've got the individual topic videos. So if you need to know more about the heart, go and check those out. So you've gone through all the material, but the problem with biology is you've learnt it all and yet you're still struggling to answer the questions. Myra, come here, come here. But you're still struggling to answer the questions and that's because they're worded in a really annoying, difficult way. And the key to doing well in biology exams is question spotting and trying to understand what it is they're actually trying to pull out of you. And generally speaking, it's just a point on the specification that's disguised. So the thing to do with biology is pass papers. Do more pass papers in biology than any other subject, honestly. You can get away with just doing a few in chemistry and physics. But for me, you need to look at as many different biology questions as possible. And as I said in a different video, it doesn't matter what exam board you're doing. If you're studying plant hormones, so auxins, tropisms, use CIE, use Edexcel if you need to. If you're studying the heart, use the other exam boards because it's good to see the different ways in which they can ask questions. You want to answer as many different questions as possible. My iPad Pro means that I'm now writing out all the answers. So actually, if you're looking for specific exam practice, I'm now doing past papers in all the key exam boards so you can actually see how I'm approaching the question. For example, when it's multiple choice, I will try and work out the answer before I look at the options so that I don't get confused by the various options. It's much better if you think, okay, the answer is active transport, and then you look down the list and you see that active transport is there. It means that you're much more likely to have got the answer right. In a separate video, I'm going to talk about how you approach six mark questions, so look out for that. But yeah, the key to doing well in biology is obviously learn all the materials so that if there is a basic question such as define diffusion, that you have that answer at your fingertips. There's no excuse really to not getting those one and two mark questions because it's the six markers that will be proving very difficult. As with all science, when it comes to planning an investigation and stating improvements, you want to state, repeat, calculate and average. Use as many keywords as possible. You'll often see mark schemes where actually you get a mark per keyword. So for example, how is the small intestine adapted for its function? You get a mark for stating microvilli. You get a mark for stating larger surface area. You get a mark for stating short diffusion distance. That's actually two marks. You might get a mark for stating lacteal, which is needed for fat absorption. When we're looking at genetic engineering, you get a mark for stating restriction enzyme. You get a mark for stating ligase, even if you don't really know what they do. So try not to be too waffly. Don't repeat yourself. Instead, try and cram your answer with as many different scientific words as possible. And that really is the key to doing well in biology. In terms of your key answers, my perfect answer revision guide has really all of those in there. I have worked so hard, I've looked at so many past papers to work out exactly what the examiners are looking for. And if you want to see a preview of what they contain, you can find that in my online shop. But yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Come follow me on Insta if you're not already. There's lots of cool extra material there to help you do well in your exams, as well as some pretty interesting science videos. And I'll be back soon.